Good morning, folks. Remember when I said a CME from an X-Class flare four days ago would miss our planet and then the experts said it would hit, so I questioned my analysis? Well, it missed the Earth. No questions today, however, as we've got space weather on its way to Earth for sure. Let's go to the last 24 hours on our star where the third X-Class flare in about 36 hours erupted with long duration and released a CME into space. We have many things to continue watching on our star, but right now let's focus on the event yesterday. As I said, it was the third in a sequence of X-Class solar flares, but this third one was not impulsive, instead lasting for a few hours and releasing a coronal mass ejection. 94 angstrom shows the heavy X-ray saturation of the detector from the big southern spots. The eruption had a secondary component that erupted nearby plasma in a wide burst CME that is almost certainly going to impact the Earth in about two days, on June 4th. You can see the halo eruption here on coronagraphs, plasma leaving all around the central blocking disk, indicating impact is coming. Geomagnetic storm conditions expected this coming week. The May 2024 sunspot numbers have been updated and mark a new peak of this cycle so far. As has been the case for months, we are way above the expected values of the solar cycle strength, well above the eat crow levels for those who said we'd be in grand solar minimum right now. This cycle will officially go down as being stronger than the last. First up in the articles today is an excellent one showing how the sun impacts the middle atmosphere region where ozone is found and where jet stream forcing is prevalent. This correlation was found in all three climate models tested, as has been the case in previous studies, and this ghost forcing remains absent in all the science used to blame humans for pretty much everything that happens in the atmosphere. Last note here hits the barren sea ice. The Barents Sea is north of Scandinavia and western Russia, to the east of the Norwegian Sea and Greenland Sea, and here they are showing that much to the dismay of climatologists, the ice there has been increasing for the last decade. Very good chance that this is due to ice melt causing cooler, fresher waters in the northern seas, a key precursor to those effects showing up at lower latitudes. We greatly appreciate your support. Solar storm coming. Watch levels are still high for more eruptions. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.